So uh, I'm also uh, wondering about the, uh, you know, the midterms and the last two midterms, the Republicans have mobilized their base and picked up uh, seats. Uh, you know, this year, according to numerous polls and special election results, uh, Democratic enthusiasm is extremely high right now. Democrats lead by 7.8 in uh, 538. So if you go back to the 2010, Republicans flipped 63 seats to to t- take the House. They only won the generic ballot by 6.8. 2006, uh, Democrats won 30 seats. They only won by 7.9. So, um, you know, starting in, in late August and September, polling will, will move from a, a registered voter screen to a likely voter screen. In that point, will you see a larger movement towards the Democrats? Uh, and obviously, in the end, it'll depend on individual waste races. So, I mean, what is what is your opinion on that? Do you think that uh, well, that, that that'll move people because of enthusiasm? Uh, I mean, I think if everything stays the same, it's 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 hard to know. I mean, enthusiasm is going to be the is 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 going to be uh, the determining factor. And uh, but you know that the Democrats need more than uh, seven points to do those type of numbers. Uh, generically speaking, uh, because of, of, of gerrymandering and, and sort of like a natural deficits. Um, but, uh, I, I mean, I think the bottom line is just going to be is, you know, we don't know who the likely voters are yet. And uh, it's going to be hard to sort of calculate, right? I mean, there was another race in Florida, I guess, last night uh, where the Democrats won, and it was a sort of a another, you know, uh, situation where they were outspent and they still won in that scenario. I don't see any reason why at this point you're going to get less enthused Democrats. I, it's conceivable to me that something that could happen that would generate even more Republican enthusiasm than exists now. But I don't know what that is. Maybe, I don't know, another uh, black football player uh, does something that Donald Trump thinks is wrong uh, or, uh, you know, something to that effect. But but broadly speaking, I don't think they're going to have I mean, do we have that footage of uh, the Clinton, uh, uh, the ad? Did we pull that? Let me let me just say real quick. I am anticipating Pocahontas. (laughs) Right, it well, wasn't trying for any good. He's going to do Polka that, of course. Pocahontas. No, no, Bernie, though. Oh, Pol- that is Pocahontas. A problematic example of totally Pocahontas. But Pocahontas he, pretending to be the true progressive. Pocahontas, folks. Here, here, here is an example of, of why I think the, de- the Republicans are going to have a problem motivating their base, all right? Or an example of how desperate they are. Um, more than 5,000 TV commercials this year in Ohio. This year being 2018, right, Brendan? Yes. And this is 5,000 times that they've aired. So it's not necessarily different commercials. Have mentioned Hillary Clinton. Sure. And this is, this is actually from uh, 2005. Clinton. 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 I mean, this is pretty stunning. Do we have the video? Is that like robot Sean Hannity? Sean Hannity became sentient intelligence. Thirteen thousand commercials through from January first through April twenty fourth mentioned or showed a photo of Hillary Clinton. This is according to data compiled for the USA Today Network by Contar's Media Campaign Analysis Group. This is, and only Obama has appeared in more ads. I mean, if you are running in the midterms against the candidate who lost and who has said she's not going to run again, you are really, really hurting. Here is an example of Evan Jenkins uh, who's running for the U.S. Senate? Uh, I don't know where is it. Where is he running? In West Virginia. West Virginia. Yeah. Okay. Here's how Jenkins is running. 
So I'm one of the places that are optimistic, moving forward, and his whole campaign was looking backwards. It's Hillary who's got it backwards. The big cities she won are the places flooding our state with heroin, where lawlessness, looting, and liberalism rule. Chicago's the murder capital of America, yet they want to take our guns away? That's backwards. I'm Evan Jenkins. I approve this message to help President Trump move America forward. Does that guy have glass eyes? Does he have glass eyes? Oh, his eyes look look glassy. Glassy. It's a little glassy. I mean, the point being is that when you got to when you dedicate your Senate run to running against someone who is not in power, not planning to get back into power. I mean, but I still I really, funding you, riots in Baltimore, though, to be fair. Well, yeah, I mean, there's you know, a lot of funding. Just because Hillary's not running doesn't mean she isn't instigating but riots. But that's Berkeley. That I mean, is such a dangerous place. I mean, that's stunning, I think. And that's Deploy indicative. I, that's Hell indicative yeah. of that they have not figured out what they can do. And this is pretty a li- this is a pretty late date to not have any semblance of an idea of what's going to work. And they're just like rotating through stuff, right? The tax bill didn't work. Um, Hewing to Donald Trump maybe, maybe will work in West Virginia, but there's no reason to believe like using Hillary Clinton as a foil at this point. To be fair, you knew that was going to happen as soon as she said that stuff. Like we but knew, it happened regardless. It, yeah, certainly. But it was—it's a very fresh example. I it, it very well may be, but it's also like you—you know—why not run against Lena Dunham at this point? I just don't think I mean, it's going to happen. Kind of are. We should set up a Republican consulting shop. Here's Mike Dewine. Here's Mike Dewine. Uh, obviously running for uh, what is he running for in, in Ohio? Governor. Governor. D.C. DeWine voted with Hillary Clinton 962 times. Amnesty for millions of illegals. Mrs. Clinton, I. Mr. DeWine, I. Wasteful spending that put America <laughs> trillions in debt. Mrs. Clinton, I. Mr. DeWine, I. Gun control that trampled on the Second Amendment. Mrs. Clinton, I. Mr. DeWine, I. D.C. DeWine voted I. With Hillary over 900 times. Vote for the real conservative, Mary Taylor. Hell time. yeah. So there's a situation where it had nothing to do with what Hillary. Uh, Hi, started. I'm Hillary Clinton. I hate white men, Christians, and capitalism, and would like to castrate all of you besides my husband, because if he was castrated, he couldn't rape. But I also like Mike DeWine. He voted to support illegals <laughs> and give them guns. It's time we reach across the aisle to hurt white people and support illegals. I vote aye. This is so, very thank you. frustrating because you just gave the example of the Hillary that I would love to vote for. Uh, so there you have it, John. I mean, I think like in terms of motivating the Republicans, uh, I think they're get, they've they've got a problem. I think they know it. I I'm almost appreciate starting to, the call. At least they hate Hillary more than Obama. I Thanks, John. Uh, respect for that. That's at least, uh, at least they're able to make that distinction. It's almost like she wasn't a good candidate. Well, I mean, everything that they just tied Mike DeWine into were all votes that you would want her to take. And they the idea that they would peg that to her, I think, is indicative as opposed to, let's say, I don't know, Chuck Schumer. Yeah, First of all, all the specific those examples. It's just she inspires a kind of hate in people that is very even outsized to the terrible things she's done. First of all, death to America. <laughs> Secondly, fuck white men. And thirdly, Mike DeWine is very reasonable. <laughs> He's great. He I must love have drank him. some soy in his day because when it comes to voting to give us the ability to murder babies, let illegals take over our country and homes, He's there with us. Vote across the aisle. Vote I for Mike DeWine. From your mouth to God's ears.